May the Lord give you peace, brothers and sisters, and welcome to the Daily Bible Wisdom. We reflect on the 33rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. For this Sunday, the readings that we have are all about the end time. The first reading in Prophet Daniel, chapter 12, verses 1 to 3, he saw this vision that there is the end time coming, and when it happens, there will be now accounting of life. Those who have done good deeds will be shined like the stars, and those who have done bad deeds will be thrown into everlasting disgrace. So our destination is God, and we must not forget or miss it. We go to the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, verses 24 to 32. We hear the same thing. Jesus speaks about the end times, that there will be a tribulation, there will be many things happening in the world, and then the Son of Man will come and will send his angels to the four corners of the world to gather humanity, then there will be judgment. According to Jesus, do not ask when this will be, because only God the Father knows. The idea here is living life. It is not about the end moment, but present moment. How I'm going to live my life? It is about the journey, because the end, the destiny, is a consequence of my journey. And also let us bear in mind as well the second reading tells us. Jesus Christ is a high priest. He has offered himself for sins so that we who have received salvation are being consecrated in him. We are given divine life. We are given new life in Christ. We are enabled to live godly life. Sin is wiped away. And so if end time is coming, we should never be afraid or worried. If we are walking in the right path, our lives, our behavior, our mentality is coherent with the teachings of the Lord. So we need not be worried whether the end come today or tomorrow. We are being reminded that just like the liturgical year ends, our life as well is like that. We journey in life with many seasons, with many kinds of experiences. But at the end, there is God, and that is the destination. The readings of today remind us of two things. First and foremost, never underestimate the idea of the end. Never take for granted the idea you and I I are going to die. Of course, many times people will justify. It is so pessimistic to think about death. It is so pessimistic to think about the end of the world. We better do what we are supposed to do now because there is a deadline. We better do what we are charged to do. And that's why every moment of a life counts. Every moment that we do our activities, we do them well. Because it, it might be the last moment. There is a famous saying, whatever good I could do now, let me do it, because I will never pass this way again. Therefore, Every moment is precious. The second thing is the fight against sin. Jesus Christ wiped away our sins. He has destroyed our original sin. But then we continually commit actual sins. 
and so we therefore purify ourselves. Therefore, we have to be faithful to the commandments. We therefore are being reminded to live for God, not to live for our own devices. Let us pay attention to the readings that we have today. And it should, and it should not be disturbing, but rather empowering. So therefore now, let us be responsible with our relationship with God, relationship with our daily life, and live our life away from sin and more and more pleasing to God.